Welcome to our morning devotions. We are bringing these to you knowing that some of you are not able to get our devotional booklets um, because they're delivered to the church. We are also giving it to you because we realize that many of you are taking walks and listening to things and we invite you to start your day with a word from God. And so I invite you to do these things each and every day as we live our Christian walk in faith. I will start every day by being open to the blessings that God is going to give me. I will realize every day that I am the face of God to everyone I meet. And I will end every day by thanking God for the blessings received and place into God's hands my worries and fears.
Today we read from Christ in Our Home, July, August, September, 2020 edition. Today is Saturday, September 5th. Today we read from Ezekiel, chapter 33, verses 1 through 6. The word of the Lord came to me. O mortal, speak to your people and say to them, If I bring the sword upon a land, and the people of the land take one of their number as their sentinel, and if the sentinel sees the sword coming upon the land, and blows the trumpet and warns the people, then if any who hear the sound of the trumpet do not take warning, and the sword comes and takes them away, their blood shall be on their own heads. They heard the sound of the trumpet and did not take warning. Their blood shall be upon themselves. But if they had taken warning, they would have saved their lives. But if the sentinel sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet, so that the people are not warned, and the sword comes and takes any of them, they are taken away in their iniquity, but their blood I will require at the sentinel's hand. Happy Saturday, September 5th. We live in a world filled with voices, each clamoring for our full attention, our immediate response, our quick action. Believe this, do this, buy this, now. It seems that silence is to be avoided at any cost, often even in worship. Constant immersion in the world has become our new normal. By comparison, Ezekiel lived in a quiet world. No television, no cell phones, no traffic sounds. His days were not saturated with noisy distractions. And in that holy silence, the word of the Lord came to him. God then named Ezekiel a sentinel of the exiled people, instructing him to warn them of approaching danger. If the people heeded these warnings from God, their lives would be saved. If not, they were doomed. Ezekiel was not responsible for their response. His job was only to sound a clear alarm. He understood his prophetic role, and with humility and obedience, he responded to the word of the Lord, first heard in holy silence. Dear God, quiet my mind, speak to my heart, help me to listen and follow your call. Amen. Mm -hmm.